Hi guys, this is Dr. Joseph from Chrissy Jinty School of Management. Uh, today we are going to see an important function in Excel. We are going to use a VLOOKUP function uh, for which I have a data sheet here. I have named it as mark sheet where you have a table with uh, details of 19 students. Their role numbers are given over here. In the first column, second column carries their name. Third column carries their marks in three different subjects, say ITM, Information Technology for Managers, MPC, Management Process and Control, and QTM, Quantitative Techniques for Managers. So we have three different subjects and their marks scored by these 19 students, their role numbers are also given. And then I have created another sheet called as Result Sheet, where I created a template so this is a template where the student will enter a roll number here, his roll number here and then Excel should fetch the student's name pertaining to this roll number and it should also fetch the marks of the three subjects which are related to this particular roll number which is given as an input. So in order to do that we are going to use the VLOOKUP function. <coughs> so VLOOKUP function will and do a lookup search in this particular table say for example the user gives the roll number as 1 so what excel will do is with the help of vlookup function we'll go to this sheet and we'll search the sheet for this value which is equal to 1 which is the student roll number when the roll number is matched it will fetch the name the subject marks and then it will display it here in this particular result sheet in this table so that's what we are going to um, do over here. So we look up as a function. Before we insert, we should start with the equal to symbol, and then we start with VL. When I type, you can see here we look up function is being populated, and then when you look at this, Excel is asking us for one, two, three, and four inputs. So we have to give one by one. Let's see how we can give. So once you are entering a such a large function where you need to input four different inputs uh, you shouldn't make unnecessary clicks when you make unnecessary clicks everything will be getting captured in that particular uh, function so we'll give one we'll click only on the input which we are going to give so first one is it is asking for the lookup value so what excel is asking is which value should i use it as a search value lookup value so here the I told you the user is going to enter the registration roll number here in this particular cell. So this cell will be our lookup value where the, st the student is going to enter their roll number. So once you give the <coughs> first input you have to separate it with a comma and a space. The second input Excel is asking us the table array. So Excel is asking us you have given me the lookup value with this value in which table should excel search so that's what we are going to give it as the second input so our table where excel should search is there in the mark sheet so i just click on the mark sheet and here we have the table so we to select the entire table so i start it with um, a7 i move across till the uh, the qt mark and then i just come down to select all the 19 records and then i release so now you don't have to go back to the result sheet if you click over here say for example i click here look at the formula bar now my formula has changed now my formula has changed now i'm not going to get the result so if you make this unnecessary click your formula gets distorted look at this i have a7 is to e25 in this sheet which is mark sheet but i have clicked it as a result sheet which is wrong so I click on mark sheet one more time. Now you can see now the formula and the formula bar is sufficient for us to edit. First input is B10, second input is where to come to mark sheet and we to select from the entire table from A7 is to E25. Once you give the second input, give a comma and space to separate it. Now we have to give the third input. Now Excel is asking us, okay, you have told me the value with which I have to search, which is B10. <coughs> and you also told me the table in which I have to search which is in the mark sheet which is from A7 is to E25 
now in that from which column should i extract or should i take that information and give it to you display it to you so in this case we are entering the formula in the student's name the student name is in the second column and when you put this column index number don't consider the column index column number of the excel worksheet rather you focus on the column index number of this table in this table this is the first column the second column third column fourth and fifth column and hence we give the column index number as 2 and then you subtract with a comma and a space and then uh, the fourth input in we look up is always it should be false so you type false and close the bracket press enter and you have got this result it nothing to worry because we didn't give the input so let me check i am just going to give enter the row number as 2 and press enter and then i got this name dragged let me go to mark sheet and check yes row number 2 carry the name called as dragged let me check one more time i am going to give the number 11 it comes raina let me go to mark sheet and check is student name 11 matches with raina so it means my we look up is working perfect generally what we do we just copy this formula over here so in this case if i copy this formula so i get a error message which is not correct so let us understand what is happening and why it is happening like this in our previous examples when we copy the formula it was able to give us the result but here it didn't give us the result let us analyze the formula over here so i am here in this particular cell which is b12 and look at the formula look, uh, look at the formula you can see here my first input it says b11 which is this cell is this correct actually my the lookup value is in the cell b10 but what excel has done is since we dragged it down since we copied the formula what excel has done is as usual it has incremented the cell address by 1 it initially it was b10 now it has become b11 my same way my table selection was a7 is to e25 but now it has become a8 is to e26 and because of that we are not getting the result let us check the third the second um, mark look at this once again and now once again excel has incremented the cell value here initially it was b10 here it was b11 now here we have b12 and same way the table selection is also gone by one one cell down here we have a9 is to e27 same way when you look at this address this um, formula you can see here again excel has incremented it with b13 and here a10 is to e28 and because of that we are not getting the uh, right output <coughs> so what we have to do is in this case before copying uh here to do some changes over here only then it will work now what we are to do is um when you look at this formula we have these two cell addresses which are written as b10 and we have uh, a is a7 is to e25 now because of this when we clicked and dragged down to copy the formula excel automatically incremented the cell address by one number now this is called a cell address also it is called a cell reference there are two types of cell referencing how you name the uh, cell one is called as absolute cell referencing and another one is called as relative cell referencing now when we write the cell reference our cell address is b10 a7 e25 we use the type of cell reference called as relative cell reference when you have a relative cell reference what excel will do is when you move down click and or copy and paste the formula downwards excel will relatively increment the cell address in the formula with one or when you copy and paste upwards excel will decrement the cell address by one and that's what here it has happened we kept on dragging the uh, formula first step second row to the third row and excel has also done the same thing to the cell reference by incrementing it by one number from b10 to b11 b11 to b12 and b12 to b13 and which is not supposed to happen because our <coughs> function gets distorted and then because we and then we don't get the result 
So what we have to do is before we copy the formula, we have to convert this referencing from relative referencing to absolute referencing, the second type of referencing which is called as absolute referencing. So how do I convert my cell address from relative address, uh, relative referencing to absolute referencing? It is very simple. What you do is you have to add a dollar symbol before the uh, cell address and also you have to add it in between the cell address that is between the column name and the row name or rather you can keep it like this you should add the dollar symbol before the alphabet and after the alphabet so here also you have one cell address so let me add a dollar symbol before the alphabet and after the alphabet when I press enter now I can copy it now if I copy Excel should not increment the cell address by one so let me do that now you can see here also I have B, B10 here also I have A7 is to B25 here also I have B10 here also I have A7 is to E25 here again I have B10 and here I have A7 is to E25 so now Excel has not incremented it because we are using absolute cell reference but what is the problem why we are getting the student name everywhere now there is another input which required our attention which is the third input which is the column index number what is column index number I told you Excel is asking us in this table from which column should I fetch the data for you initially we gave the column index number as 2 because the student name is in the column number 2 and we wanted the student name but the marks for item is in column number 3 let us check the column index number over here when you look at it it is still 2 why did Excel increment the number Excel will not increment the number when you copy it from one place to another place. Rather, it will increase the uh, increment the cell address. Since it's a numeric value, it will just copy and paste. So what we will do is we have to manually give, change this column index number from 2 to 3. And when I press enter, now you have the marks of ITM. Same way here, marks of MPC in MPC is in column number. 4 so I have to change the value to 4 the same way marks of QTM is in column number 5 and not 2 so I have to remove this change it to 5 and press enter so now I have the marks of ITM, MPC and QTM separately so let me check let me go to the mark sheet so here we have for the 11th student who is Raina we have 90, 56 and 92 so here also we have 90, 56, 92 let me check for another student. I will give 19, which is Kohli. Let me check 90. Yeah, Kohli. We have 82, 80, and 100. So here also we have 82, 80, and 100. It means we have got the result. So with this, the objective one, which is to use the VLOOKUP function to get the result sheet, is complete. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will see objective two and three.